I don't know, Al. I, I, it changes every week. It's, I, I mean, I think they've all got a chance of going down from seventh spot. You know, the top, you've got the top six. Man United won't go down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you've got maybe Leicester won't go down. Maybe Everton won't go down. The rest are in it. Yeah. yeah. They're in a battle. Yeah. Former Liverpool and Wales striker Dean Saunders has been jailed for 10 weeks for failing to comply with a roadside breath test. The 55-year-old, who also played for Aston Villa and Derby, was stopped on suspicion of drink driving by police in Chester in May. He's planning to appeal the sentence. Uh, there we are, Debbie Jevons from uh, the EFL. Mm-hmm. It's been very interesting to follow uh, Andy Holt on social media, the acronym chairman, as this uh, has all unfolded over the last couple of weeks. And uh, he joins us now. Good afternoon, Andy. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? Yeah. So, so I think we've got to take some really strong decisions and uh, EFL need to be given enough power to act. This has not happened overnight. No. Do you think the fit and proper person's tests are, are stringent enough? Do you think that, you know, that the wrong people are coming into football with with the wrong, uh, you know, wrong motivation? motivation yeah. yeah. Well, it's a, it's a waste of time, really, fit and proper person's test. Really, that's just background checks. So I would, I'd scrap the name fit and proper persons because, uh, you know, what is fit and proper? It's a bit like me testing you for, you know, being over the alcohol limit now and, and assuming that you won't be drunk tomorrow and knock somebody over. Mm. 